Um, you posted today that you are taking your Instagram page private. I know that you've obviously um, had a lot of death threats. Even I think a few of the cops here in Long Beach were. That's right. Yeah. Talking several about you on, several current and former Long Beach police officers. There was a group of. In fa on Facebook, right? Yeah. 13 different police officers throughout California had posted death threats inside their private Facebook group. But why take your IG page private? Oh man, it's I'm I'm so glad that I did actually. Now there are some drawbacks that I hate. It makes it hard to share what I what I post, and I'm okay with that. It makes it hard. So if you're not already following me, it makes it very difficult for me to add new people. But every day on my page, thousands of times a day, my page was being spammed with really three pieces of content. Like full on spammers who were selling products who were actually targeting and kind of praying even on some of the people in my community saying like, do you need us to pay a bill? Follow me and I'll help you. Scammers. Mm -hmm. uh, do you need help with, corona with the coronavirus? Follow me. Or people selling cryptocurrency, stuff mm -hmm. like that. So spam. Now all of that is gone. I hardly see any of it now that I've made my page private. Secondly, my page was being flooded with people who were there deliberately posting misinformation and lies about me every single day. Well, what we discovered was that the majority of the people would post that sometimes with fake accounts, some sometimes with accounts that looked real, but really weren't, they never followed me. And when you make your page private, they now no longer have access to that. And the third is we saw different white supremacist groups and others frequently planning like, Everybody flood this post, flood this thing that Sean just said with rebuttals and things like that. And just to flood up my page with misinformation, now that it's private, nobody can do that. Now, the drawback is now it's a closed ecosystem, and I hate that. But at least for the time being, it, it is virtually spam free. There'll still be some of it. But my estimate is that probably 95 to 96 percent of it has already disappeared just with a, a click of a button. Uh, uh, Instagram has a real problem with spam, man. They do. Yeah. Even even like, you know, every time I post something, it's get your page verified or do you need a cartoon draw? Oh, yeah, yeah. The cartoon <laughs> one is consistent, man. They always get me like. They never go away. Like, How many people <laughs> decide cartoons? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so, none, man, if you go to my post now. There no, nobody's selling cartoons. Nobody's asking. And it just, it just limited all of it. So whatever algorithms these people are using, they never thought to actually follow people. And, uh, and so now I've kind of closed the bubble, at least, at least for now. We'll see how it goes.